Here are the materials that you will need for the pumpkin tutorial. First off, you will need the super glue gel I use Gorilla Glue, the embroidery needle, the butterfly clutch pin, 1.5 mm hook. You can use any size up to 2.0 mm hook and it should still be fine. 6 strand embroidery thread in orange and also in brown color scissors and lastly you'll need a small piece of fabric so that we can use this as our backing before we start i just want to let you know that i also have a playlist called amigurumi 101 in that playlist there are plenty of slower paced tutorial so if you need extra help with certain stitches or getting familiar with certain techniques, please check it out. Let's start with the orange color. You're simply going to make a new loop. By doing that, you're going to want to cross over the yarn or the thread in this case. Hold that intersection piece and fold down the circle. You see how there's a piece of yarn behind the circle and that is good. Going to grab your hook and then go behind that piece of yarn and then you're going to hold these two ends at the same time and pull that yarn into a loop. Right now the loop is slightly big so what you can do here is use your hand to hold on the long end of the yarn I mean the short end of the yarn, hold it tight and then on the long end, you're simply gonna pull so the size of the loop is, you know, relatively the same as the hook size so once you already have your loop we are going to chain two times so yarn over hook you see how I put the yarn over hook and then you're going to pull that through that loop. This is one chain here. Repeat one more time, yarn over hook and then pull through. Yeah, this is the second chain. Next step, we are going to make six single crochet into the first chain. The chain next to hook this is the second one, so the f we're going to push the hook into that first chain over there and then make a single crochet. To make a single crochet, you're going to put your yarn over hook and then pull through. Notice how right now you have two loops. You're gonna yarn over hook again and then pull that yarn through both loops like that. This is one single crochet. You're going to put your hook into that same stitch or the same hole that you pushed it before. Yarn over hook, pull through, yarn over hook again, and then pull through both loops to make a second single crochet. As you can see here, this is the first single crochet. This is the second single crochet. You're going to have to make four more single crochet so i'm gonna keep going push your hook back to that uh, stitch yarn over hook pull through yarn over hook pull through both loops that's the third single crochet okay keep going yarn over hook pull through yarn over hook pull through both loops this is the fourth single crochet we have to make two more, you can see that it started forming a circle, so you just need to push your hook into this middle hole. Yarn over hook, pull through. Yarn over hook, pull through both loops. This is the fifth single crochet. Just one more. So push the hook through the middle. Yarn over hook, pull through. Yarn over hook, pull through both loops. And that's our sixth single crochet. So just make sure that at the end of each round, 
count how many stitches you have in a round so that you don't miss anything or have to undo by a lot if there's a mistake. I'm going to count starting from the first stitch of this round, which is this one. This is one and then two, three, four, five, and then six. The current stitch is the six, as you can see. So if you are newer on the crochet, I recommend marking this stitch so that you know where you left off. But since this piece is so small, I'm just gonna continue uh, for the sake of better visibility when I crochet so that the stitch marker would not block uh, the stitches. For the second round, we're going to make increases in every stitch around uh, by increase in my definition it just means you make two single crochet in one stitch you're going to start with this next stitch right here you're gonna push your hook through and if you can see in each of the stitch there's gonna be it's kind of small but there's gonna be a front loop and also a back loop you need to make sure that your hook is under both of those loop and same thing make a single crochet so yarn over hook pull through and then yarn over hook and pull through both loops So that's one single crochet in that first stitch right there. For it to be an increase, you need to push your hook back into that same stitch and make another single crochet. Okay, so right now we can see that there are two single crochet in the same stitch. That's stitch number one. And this is what I call an increase. So right now for second stitch or stitch number two, we're going to increase in the same way. So I'm going to push my hook into that stitch two and make two single crochet there. There's only one single crochet, push my hook back into that second stitch. Okay, that's the second single crochet. So there are two single crochet in that stitch. You'll see that an increase when you do that, it, it will look a little bit fatter than just one single crochet because now we have two. Same thing. On the third stitch, make two single crochet, which is equivalent to an increase. That's one single crochet. Okay, and then that's two single crochet. On the fourth stitch, same thing. That's one single crochet. And then now that's an increase. On the fifth stitch, okay, one single crochet, oopsie, that's an increase. On the sixth stitch, that's one single crochet, okay, that's an increase. So at the end of this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. I'm going to count starting from stitch number one. So this is one, two, three, four, five, and then six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then twelve. At the end of this round, uh, I recommend that you mark 
the last stitch that you have in this round you can simply use a I guess scrape yarn or scrape thread which is just a short piece of thread that you're going to insert into your stitch usually when you crochet with the embroidery thread the stitch marker could be a little bit too big so you might want to mark it with just a small piece of thread instead so all I did here is just push my hook into that last stitch grab the thread put it over the hook and then you're gonna sort of pull it through not all the way through but once you pull it through you're gonna grab one of the end and kind of leave it like that so at least you know you know where the end of the round is at so before i move on i'm just gonna pull on this tail in the middle and what it usually do is it will tighten this hole in the middle a little bit and then once i'm done with that i'm just gonna cut it off because it kind of annoy me so i don't like stuff hanging around okay so once we're done with that we are ready to move on to round number three for this round we are going to make one single crochet followed by an increase and repeat that same sequence for six times so i'm gonna demonstrate in that first stitch going to make a single crochet all right and then in the stitch after make an increase oopsie this one and then in the same stitch need to make one more single crochet okay now we have an increase so one single crochet and then one increase repeat that same sequence five more times one one okay that's an increase one one okay that's an increase Okay, that's an increase. One. One. An increase. Okay, just one more time. And then when you reach the last stitch, you can just pull it out and just try to remember that this is the last stitch of it. Okay, so last stitch has to be an increase. That's one. Okay, and now that's an increase. I'm going to insert the stitch marker back into that last stitch so we don't miss it. Again, make sure to count this round as well. You should have a total of 18 stitches. 
So if I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And this is blocking, so it's hard to see. So we're at 15, 16, 17, and then 18. Okay, so for round four, the pattern is slightly long, so I'm just gonna say it as I go. It also show on the screen, as you can see. First, we're going to make single crochet three times in the first three stitches so on the first one okay one single crochet on the next stitch one single crochet on the third stitch also one single crochet So the next two stitches, uh, we're going to use something called half double crochet increase. So an increase last time when I show you, I make two single crochet in one stitch, but half double crochet increase in my definition is make two half double crochet in one stitch. I'm going to show you how to make a half double crochet first. You yarn over hook before you push your hook through a new stitch. You yarn over hook again and then you pull through. You see how right now you have three loops? You're going to yarn over hook again and pull through all three loops. This is a half double crochet. And to be half double crochet increase, you need to make one more in that same stitch. So yarn over hook first, and then push your hook through the same stitch. Yarn over hook again, pull through. And yarn over hook again, pull through all three loops. All right, now we got the half double crochet increase where we have two half double crochet in one stitch. Repeat that same process for the stitch after. So yarn over hook and push through the next stitch. Yarn over hook again and pull through. Yarn over hook and push, I mean pull through all three loops. All right, in the same stitch, Yarn over hook and then push through. Yarn over hook, pull through. Yarn over hook, pull through all three loops. All right, that's the second half double crochet increase. In the next two stitches, we're just gonna make one half double crochet in each stitch. So yarn over hook and then push through the next stitch, yarn over hook and pull through. Yarn over hook, pull through all three loops. Okay, that's one half double crochet. Yarn over hook, push through the next stitch. Yarn over hook, pull through. Yarn over hook, pull through all three loops. Okay, so we have one half double crochet and then the second half double crochet. In the next three stitches, just make one single crochet in each. One. Two. In the next two stitches, make one half double crochet in each. So yarn over hook, push through the next stitch, yarn over hook, pull through, 
yarn over hook, pull through all three loops. Okay, same thing, yarn over hook, push into the next stitch, yarn over hook, pull through, yarn over hook, pull through all three loops. In the next two stitches, we're going to make half double crochet increase. All right, yarn over hook, push through the next stitch, yarn over hook, pull through, yarn over hook, pull through all three loops. Okay, that's one half double crochet, yarn over hook, push into the same stitch, because we need to make an increase. Yarn over hook, pull through, yarn over hook, pull through all three loops. That's an increase. Same thing, yarn over hook, and then push into the next stitch, yarn over hook, pull through, yarn over hook, pull through all three loops. That's one, half double crochet. Let's make one more, yarn over hook, Push into the same stitch, yarn over hook, pull through, yarn over hook, pull through all three loops to make uh, an increase here. In the next two stitches, make a single crochet in each. So one single crochet and then another single crochet and here we are done with round four notice how there are two stitches left over we simply gonna just skip it so you can simply just pull out the stitch marker and just cut off um not too long maybe about this length of the yarn as you can see and pull the hook like that. This is called finish off. Okay, so next step is we need to clean off this edge here. Simply grab a needle, insert the tail into the needle like that. And here, as you can see, we're gonna need to sew to clean off the edge. This is the stitch where we finish off. And then this is the stitch we're going to skip. And on this one, we're going to insert. You see how we're going through the middle and then through the back? Insert a needle and then pull. Alright. And now we're gonna insert the needle again. But on the stitch we finish off. So through the middle and through the back. And then pull. And the edge would look somewhat better than before. Once you're done with that, flip to the back side and you're gonna just grab a piece of thread and insert the needle under to secure it. Alright, once you're done, simply just pull and just cut the excess part like that. Okay. So this will be the back side and then this will be the front side. You can like almost not be able to tell that we ended here because the the edge is very smooth now. Alright, next step is we need to make a stem on top of the pumpkin with brown color yarn. First off, we're gonna make a new loop again. So cross the yarn over, fold it down, and then grab your hook, and then pull to form a new loop. Now on this piece, this is where you finish off, right? 
We're going to make the stem on the other side. So just pick, you know, anywhere in the middle. I think this stitch looks good. So I'm gonna push my hook into it. Okay. I'm going to make one single crochet. So, right, same thing, yarn over hook, pull through, and then you have two loops. Yarn over hook, pull through both loops. Here, we have one single crochet. I'm going to chain one and then turn around and push this hook into um, the one stitch that you have. Uh, in this stitch, make an increase. So basically, you need to make two single crochet in that stitch. This is one single crochet. So insert the hook into that same stitch and make another single crochet. All right, chain one and then turn to the other side. Now we're going to make two single crochet, one in each. So in the first stitch, make a single crochet. Okay, on the next stitch, make another single crochet. Alright, now that we are done, finish off. Okay, so same thing, we need to clean off these tails that is hanging here, so Insert the tail into your needle. And I'm gonna hide the tail on the back side, basically. So first off, I'm gonna grab a piece of yarn there and insert the needle. And I'm gonna do it again on this main piece here for better security there. Alright, now that that is done, let me cut off. Okay, and then on the other piece here, let me insert it into the needle. Alright. And what I want to do with this piece is instead of going through the back, I'm going to go through the front. Um, it's going to be here where that brown piece started. Alright. Just pull through here. And then same thing, just grab a piece you can find and pull through. Alright, and then cut off the excess tail. Okay, now you're done with the crochet portion. We're going to need to sew or embroider a little bit of the detail. So for the detail that we're going to sew, it's going to look something like this. We have you know, four different lines coming out. And this line is going to be a bit thinner than this thread that we have. So first off, just cut out a long piece of yarn or thread. In this case, we kind of use the term interchangeably. Okay, and we're going to unwind this thread. All right, or split it in half, basically. 
Let me see here. You can see that on one side I have like three different pieces and the other side also three pieces because this is six strand embroidery thread. So now our thread is, you know, kind of thinner and we're going to use this to sew the details. So just insert this piece into your needle. I'm going to start off from the back and just grab whatever piece I can in the back. Alright. Don't need to pull all the way. And then next step would be go through this middle where the stem start. Okay. Okay, so we're going to start off by yeah push it it back to the back side yeah so the the side detail and okay and then turn to the back go through the middle again and then pull through then you're going to do the other side If you flip it back, going to push your needle into that stem. Okay, and turn to the front. Now that stitch is gonna be somewhere around here. Same thing. Okay, now that we got all the details sewn, we need to secure this back side. So what I like to do is just pull the yarn tight and I'm gonna secure this long end by finding another spot I can insert the needle into and just pull it tight, both of them, before you cut them off. Okay, now the fun part is to apply the glue to the back side so that we can attach this fabric on the back. What I like to use is this Gorilla Super Glue Gel. Uh, before use, just make sure to shake it a lot so that the gel come out nicely. And be very careful when you use this gel because it could be very sticky. Do not touch your face or your eye with it. And if it get onto your finger, you can rinse it off with the nail polish remover and then wash it with soap and water afterward. Okay, to starting off with this, I'm gonna apply the gel in the middle first. You can kind of see. Don't put way too much because what that's gonna do is you don't want the gel to seep 
into the front side because the glue will turn the color of your yarn into white color and that's not good now that you have the gel ply simply put the fabric on top and kind of hold or press it down with your finger and let it dry for a bit Okay, so since we only apply to the middle, that's still the side that needs um, that we need to apply the glue on. So be very careful when applying this. You want to apply a good amount of glue and kind of spread it out to cover off the surface area, but you don't want too much glue, right? We don't want it to seep into the other side. So just be careful. And once the glue is applied, just fold down or press, apply some pressure on top of that fabric. And then we just, you know, slowly repeat the same for the other side. Okay, once you're done, apply, apply a little bit more pressure and kind of let it dry. Leave it like 10 to 15 minutes and once it completely dry, we're going to cut off the excess fabric with a scissor. When you cut, just be careful not to cut your crocheted piece only the fabric in the back Okay, so we still need to clean off a little bit more because the fabric still show in the front. I'm gonna flip to the back side and kind of cut or trim closer to the edges.
So as you can see, it takes some time to even just, you know, cut out these fabric piece because I want the piece to look as nice as it can. Even though this pumpkin is very tiny, there's still a lot of effort that goes into making one pin. Some people like to think that, you know, this might take 5 or 10 minutes just because it looks so simple and it's so small but, you know, it takes much longer than that because I, I really pay attention to all of the detail, making sure that the piece looks as best as it could be. So now the last step is to glue this pin on the back side of the pumpkin. So again, make sure to kind of shake your glue. And I'm gonna apply a small amount. It's gonna be sort of like a bean shape. When I say small, um, like not too small, because there needs to be enough glue to make sure that the pin doesn't fall off. But as you can see here, oopsie. So once the glue is there, you're simply going to carefully hold um, that pin, the tip of the pin, so that it can push down onto this back side and then maybe hold down a little bit apply some pressure with your finger and don't touch it afterward i personally like to leave it overnight for it to dry but i think a couple of hours might be sufficient and one thing to know is do not put this backing onto the pin until you make sure that the glue is completely dry because again the glue will make like kind of like a white ugly mark on the backing if the glue is not dry so if you like this tutorial please like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching bye bye